The Basics of Dog Training, brought to you by FreeOnlineDogTraining.com. Learn how to bond with your dog with a free mini course. Visit FreeOnlineDogTraining.com for access. It's essential for dog parents like you to know certain basic factors that determine your relationship with your dog and that can go a long way in training them effectively. Before you begin training your dog, it is absolutely essential that you build a loving bond with them. This is important as it helps you to understand their needs and instincts and also allows your dog to have complete trust in you. Let's see how. How to bond with your dog. Building a bond with your dog is the first and most crucial step involved in training him successfully. As soon as you bring your dog home, you must first try to develop a caring and loving relationship with them in order to win their trust and confidence. When dogs are secure in the knowledge that they belong to the family, they are more likely to respond better to their owner's training commands. Just like with any relationship, there must be mutual trust and respect between you and your dog. Trust takes time to develop, and respect comes from defining boundaries and treating any breach of those boundaries with firmness and fairness. And without enforceable limitations, respect can't be developed. And when there is no respect, building a bond with your dog is almost impossible. Now there are four golden rules to building a relationship with your dog. The first is to spend quality time together. The second, take them out in the world and experience life together. The third is to establish and promote a level of mutual respect. And finally, develop a way of communicating to understand each other's needs. You see, building a bond with your dog will not only help you manage them better, but will also make your dog calm, quiet, and an extremely well-adjusted pet. See, if you love your dog, they will love you back. Once you're successful in building a bond with your dog, you can rest assured that training them and teaching them new and clever tricks will be a cakewalk. So now let's take a closer look at how your dog learns. Your dog's learning period can be divided into five phases. First phase is the teaching phase. This is the phase where you must physically demonstrate to your dog exactly what you want them to do. The second phase is the practicing phase. Remember, practice makes perfect. Once a lesson is learned, practice with your dog what you have just taught them. Then we have the generalizing phase. In the generalizing phase, you must continue practicing with your dog in different locations and in an environment with few distractions. You can take your dog out for a walk or to a nearby park and command him to practice whatever you've taught him. Practicing the learned lessons in multiple locations and in the presence of small distractions will help them learn and retain the lessons better. Then we have the testing phase. Once you're sure that your dog has achieved almost 90% success, when they respond correctly almost every time you give them a command, you must start testing their accuracy in newer locations and with a lot of distractions. For example, you can take them to the local shopping mall and ask them to obey your command. Now they may not come up with the correct response the very first time you do this, but you must not lose hope. The idea is to test your dog to see how they respond in an environment which is new to them. You want to set up a situation where you are in control of the environment and your dog. There are only two possibilities here. Either your dog succeeds or they fail. Now, in case your dog fails, just re-examine the situation. You might want to review and or change your training and then try testing again. Just keep on testing until they succeed. You have to follow the rule of the three P's, patience, persistence, and praise. Finally, we have the internalizing phase. This is the extremely rewarding phase where your dog does everything they are taught to do, even without your commands. Remember, never scold your dog if they fail. It's not their fault. You have failed as a trainer. 
you must be patient and persistent for your efforts to show rewards. Appreciate and love your dog when they do it right. A little encouragement will work wonders for your dog. Dog training is easy when you do it right. You can learn how to train your dog even better with a free online mini course tailored to the specific breed of your dog. You can visit freeonlinedogtraining.com to sign up.